Don't tell Ian about this. What's up crew? Welcome to today's vlog. Today I'm joined with Ian and Kyle. Ask Kyle, I'll say hi. Howdy. I just got to Ian. Kyle has beat me. I actually didn't even know he was gonna be here, but uh, I mean, I'm glad you are, Kyle. Yeah, it's gonna be a good too. time. I would not try this one to Please come down the box. You're good. You're good. You're good. running over here he's like whoa 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 it's already been pretty eventful and we haven't even started the video this is a volkswagen <laughs> sandwich right here buddy there's not enough room here someone's got the, you're oh, gonna have to pull it out okay we got three diesels ian couldn't clear kyle s's in my truck now we're off to kyle d's and uh what are we getting water water for your engine yes and some water for me i i love h2o I, i'm just like engines you know i need a little bit of water here and there h2o take it all out start over where am i gonna put it i don't know where you're gonna put it made it to the part store Ian lost a part we actually might have lost more than just one but uh, we're starting with the first one Ian are you gonna lose any more parts I hope not. what do we got here those are you gonna get the stainless steel ones yeah, yeah those are the nice ones you gotta go with the stainless steel why how much Only cents. maybe those ones aren't the stainless steel maybe maybe those ones are the stainless steel this is stainless steel right on it I know but uh -oh. Ian, I thought you only needed one hose clamp. I needed two. I grabbed, you know, I grabbed two. You lost two hose clamps? We're just being prepared, that's all. Oh, prepared, I see. I like the Boy Scouts and stuff. You're a Girl Scout one, weren't you? Ian treated us to lunch. Now we're working on the sled again. Ian made some real progress before I even got here. Uh, he put this side cover on, the other side cover on, the electric starter on, uh, a part of the cooling system. And then Ian and I threw it in here. We're gonna, and then we're gonna test fire it, Ian? Wow. I'm looking forward to it, Ian. Kyle managed to get the fire really going. So hot, I love it. It will heat this place right up. When I first got here, it was completely smoky. It was cold as hell. Now it's getting clean and it's getting hot. Cool, let's do it, that'd be for something special. <laughs> in shop than yesterday like yesterday it was so cold that like th this camera wouldn't work but now it's it's working great all the features are working i mean it's so warm in here ian's in a freaking t-shirt and it's like 30 degrees outside so that tells you something ian's over here working on this part and then he's assigned me to do the carburetors over here so i've done these two so far now i have to work on these two now i'm not sure if you guys can remember but Ian had a rod bearing issue. So this is what a rod bearing is supposed to look like. Here's Ian's. It's got holes in it. For it's got holes in it, it's cracked on the edges. It's all sorts of screwed up. So that's what happened. His snowmobile was making all sorts of knocking issues. So that's why he tore it apart and now we're putting it back together. I'm interested to see what happens when I get back to the BMW or I get back to the Kodiak, you know? You, you leave it alone for a little bit and it's just like 
hey, what went where? What's this piece go to? Good thing Ian's Mr. Einstein, so he's... Oh yeah. <laughs> Ian, you know what your generator sounds like before it start, runs out of gas, huh? I guess so. How many hours does that usually last you? It's a diesel, huh? Got the yellow can. <laughs> yeah. She's a good one. That stuff smells fresh. That's like fresh pumped out of the ground. Refined. Straight into Ian's generator. And just like that, we're back to work. D made it. I think tonight Ian and I might go bowling. There goes Kyle D. Everybody left Ian's shop. It was a productive day. You just you can't you can't get upset and mad that you know things don't go your way. That's that's life. Like little tiny things add up to huge things. You know, we share this family, this crew. You have to sit back and think, we are a family. We dig the same things. Like out of all the things that you guys are watching on YouTube, you guys choose to see me. We all share, whether it's our experiences, whether it's like what I'm doing. That's why there's a comment section. That's why I ask you guys questions. And you guys give me the answers. But all you machine freaks that do do the things I do, like tear apart carburetors and tear apart engines and tear apart cars and trucks and, you know, wheels fall off and stuff, you guys understand that little tiny things, even as small as needles, can make the difference between something working right and just completely the bed. And it also screws up time. Your time schedule shot. You guys get it. I know you do. Sometimes it's just difficult to understand at that point because you're just frustrated.